Hey guys, it's Melissa K. Back with another quick update on chicken raising. I want to show you a surprise. I got some new babies. Okay, so we have about a dozen chicks. And they're just, they're so cute. Look at them. Look at that. I'm not scared to touch them at this age, but like, I don't really like touching birds like that. <laughs> but they are so humble and kind when they're like at this age. So we're going to keep them in here probably just for a couple more weeks and then transfer them into the coop because we have an area where we actually keep the babies um, until they get a little older. But like right now here, it's still kind of cold at night and in the morning, so it's best to keep them inside until um, they get a little, a tiny bit older. And so that's what we're doing. So I just wanted to up you, that, update you guys on our chicken raisin. Uh, we're still doing it, getting got a lot of eggs. Um, the chickens that we have are getting old. Um, some of them have lost feathers because we have some ruthless roosters. <laughs> um, and, um, you know, it's time, basically time to re-up on um, these chickens just to keep them going. Because I kind of feel like uh, the chickens that I have are on its last leg. So um, this is a good time. If you're interested in raising chickens, it's a good time to start in the spring or around the time where it's, you know, not too cold, like maybe late summer. So late summer, I would really wouldn't recommend late summer, but if you can, that will be another time. Either early summer, late summer, like way before it gets cold, because by the time it gets cold, you want them to be strong and not like vulnerable babies, you know? So that's pretty much my update. Um, I'll show you the other chickens another day. Um, I think it's only like, let me see, we have two roosters and maybe like five chickens left, something to that effect. You know, they die easy. So sometimes they don't last. So it's always good to get a lot of chickens at one time. So as they die off, you still have a few that, you know, that kind of stand strong. They really like survival of the fittest, the ones with the strongest genes and stuff like that. So, so yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.